Good evening everybody, how are we all doing? Yes, it's night time, I'm sorry I've not been on for a few days But anyway, welcome back to my channel, I do apologise for not uploading um, I've had a lot on my mind and yeah, I've been to see my mental health nurse today um, Didn't feel any better after that Because, I don't know what it, sorry I thought I saw a spider on the ceiling And someone just caught me, I and it's not, it's just, in fact, is it? I'm not looking, I'm not looking, yeah, I'm, I've had, I'm out of the shower because I needed a wash. Um, still got this little one, I've, I have actually said it, she needs picking up now because we've had her a bit too long now, um, but yeah, don't give me puppy eyes. <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to stress out everyone, I'm, I'm stressing out over the little, little things at the minute and with Christmas coming around the corner. I'm like, oh my god, um, Olivia's birthday's next week and all, I'm stressing over that. But I'm just stressing full stop. Um, life is just challenging right now. And fibro is... Yeah, okay. Essie, sniffing me. What is it with animals? You get a wash and then you come out and they feel they need to wash you again. Yeah, I think I need to back in the shower. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I need to go and get my glasses sorted because they're a bit... These are my new ones. But they feel a bit like they keep sliding. Anyway. Mm, yeah. It's absolutely miserable outside. It's very cloudy. Foggy, should I say. Cloudy. Does anyone else have brain, brain fog so bad recently? Even my words are all tumbled up. Yes, I've seen the doctor and they're referring me to... Um, I can't remember who now, but for Hemi. Because, obviously, the did do it sorry um i can't remember yeah brain fox really bad sorry chronic fatigue can be yeah because I, I said to him look come on it's not dust fibro something else is going off and it's getting to me a little bit um my physical health is getting to me a little bit so that's then affecting my mental health yeah i got around to finishing the walls wallpapering um, I had no choice, it would do me head in and I was arguing with walls. <laughs> and I got the old ready mix uh, paste from the range, so I just slapped it on walls and just popped the paper on. Luckily it's not patterned, so it just, just went on alright. Um, yeah, sorry. I just, oh, just everything's just, yeah, so, <sighs> don't make sense, sorry. I'm just having a really bad day, I'm... Yesterday was very emotional and I kept feeling really teary. Um, sorry, I really wanted to cry yesterday and I don't really, yeah, I don't know, I don't know that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, my speech is going again. Um, oh, excuse that bit of a faulty new uh, wallpaper, let's just put you back here. Um, so yeah. Obviously, I've not been doing any spiritual readings because I've not been in the right frame of mind. And also, my third eye, right there. Oh, my Lord, that is being going... Like, loads of pressure in my head today. So I've just messaged my friend who taught me how to do the readings and to do etc, etc, et you know what I mean? Um, and she said, just ask you guys to take the pressure away. I'm like, I felt like someone had punched me in my face there. It won't, it was just my third eye opening and yeah, with it coming up with Halloween as well. All your loved ones like come we stop it essay it. Just had a bath, I don't need to be really washed. Trying to lose weight as well. I'm not going anywhere. Glad we struggling and I don't know how doctors expect you to lose it because they must think we've got superpowers. Because I'm not giving you I can lose it for the love of the money. It doesn't help the fact that I love food too much. And I'm not the only one either. Yeah. Who's been watching Big Brother? Um, I've been watching it. And that Lily. Yeah. It's been doing me head in. Now, there's no way she's like that in normal life. I'm not kidding you. That is just all for the cameras. And she, when she sees the cameras, that's when she starts going, eh! If you haven't watched it, go across and watch it. Kara, watch her thoughts on. Anyway, and that Ali, I don't like her. Mm, I don't know. It's what about her? I don't like. Um, I like. Oh, what's that name? What's her name? I like Emma. Is it Emma? The one she makes me laugh. 
um, and that is Anna. Uh, that lass is straightforward to the point, and yeah, like her as well. Um, and that Nathan, the Scottish guy, <laughs> kissy kissy with that other. Is that a real name, baked potato? Or is it just a nickname? Because I'm surely. Can you imagine that being on your birth certificate, baked potato? Yeah, I bet she. <laughs> I bet you'd get picked on at school with that, wouldn't you? Anyway, guys, so that's kind of a little update of what's going on in my world. Um, it's just a bit of a hoo hoo, like waves at the minute. It's, well, I should say, like a roller coaster. So my mood, like I said to my CPN today, my moods are going from one extreme to another. And my doctor did say bipolar. So, yeah, that was my doctor saying that. So, I, I was too afraid to say it to her because, you know, the, the thing they know, know it all. You've done your training. You aren't, I, I kind of get it if you've been through a mental health breakdown and stuff like that. They make, probably make the best people to be nurses, uh, mental health nurses. But the ones that have just had training in the classroom, I don't think, you don't get it unless you've been through it. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, they're qualified, so I'm guessing they know best. But... But they don't seem to want to listen to me. I've mentioned it in the past about my extreme moods. I go from one extreme to another. And that is bipolar. So, yeah, my doctor said it. And same with the hemi. So, let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Because some, it's, my body is just having a meltdown and it doesn't know what to do with itself. And something's not right. And you all know your own body, don't you? You know when something's not right. And I feel it. I'm not feeling right. Um... Uh, as for spirit reading, I'm gonna try, once I get myself out of this bit of a low mood state, um, I might give it another week and then try and go back into meditating and start doing it again because people are asking me and I do apologise, I have not been doing them because it's just me, it's just not in the right frame of mind and I don't want to be trying to force something that isn't going to come to me and yeah, once if you've had reading for me and a few people have, you'll you'll... I've been all right and I've had some good feedback. Just give me some time, please. I just, I do apologise. I'm just, like I say, I'm not having the best of a few days. And when the doctors and nurses and whoever are all messing you about, you just don't know which way to go and you just feel feel sorry for yourself. I felt like lumping my throat and my, like my CPN said today, Ring first response on oh, Mike. I rolled my eyes and she goes, oh, Yes, I know. I said, You don't know because when you ring them up, you get that bloody depressing music first and then you get a sarcastic, mm -mm, on, you, not, I'm not saying they're all like that. You get the one out of ten, maybe good staff. And I've ever, ever had one and I got one that was sack. Oh, she would just, mm -mm. That's why I tend to talk to Samaritans a lot. Uh, if you go on the website, you can do, I think you can do video calls now, but I do it through email just because I find it easy to rattle everything off. What I, that person on the other end doesn't know what I look like, so it's not so bad. I rattle it all off and then you get a reply within 24 hours, which I don't mind. I just feel a little bit better once I'm... And then they're like, yeah, and... Obviously, the reason why I went to the CPN today because they were telling me I had to go, otherwise they were going to ring, so I arranged an appointment. So, yeah, that's the reason why. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. And the CPN goes, I've been very worried. I said, well, you honestly aren't worried that much because if you were worried, you'd be out my door or you'd been constantly ringing me, which you haven't done. I said that in my head. I won't want to say that to her because, you know, I'm not that type of person. But you say stuff in your head, you're like, you want to say it to that person, but you don't want to offend them and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so that's where I am with that. Um, I'm meant to be going away for a few days soon, but I've just been told on some of life who lives where I'm going, it's going to be snow, so I don't know what's going to happen there. To be honest, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm in the right frame of mind about going either. <laughs> Hopefully I'll start feeling, shut up Essie, it's just nothing, it's just fireworks outside. Anyone else struggling with the birds with fireworks? Anyway, I'm going off whatever, I'm, I can't eat, I can't focus. So let me know in the comments below, guys. 
a few got fibro and a few have been diagnosed with something else and then some of mental health but you just feel like you're getting gaslit I know not all doctors are like that not some nurses are fabulous in fact I get uh, some nurses that I've seen recently like for blood tests or just nurses in general have been really nice I think they're more helpful than some doctors so I'm not going to say some nurses are really good and some doctors are okay depends who you get on the day and <laughs> Some I can't, and the one doctor that I really got on really well, he's left, and I'm thinking, damn, he was the best doctor that understood my fibro. But I just don't want to be getting told it's just part of fibro. I can't buy a fibro. And I'm like, no, I bloody in. <laughs> you all know your own body, don't you? Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are in regards to fibro, mental health, ME, MS, or whatever. But yeah, thanks again for coming along and joining me. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the remedy of your Friday. I'm now off to see what time it is for Big Brother. I'll see you later.